guys, so here I am, I'm in my kitchen, and I wanted to quickly show you guys how to make spaghetti squash. And so this is something that I have been using now for almost a year, a year and a half since I have um, really kind of found it and realized how easy it is to use. And so what I tend to use this for is I use this as a carbohydrate substitute. And you can find this in the supermarket. I find mine's at Walmart. Um, you can find it at you know Whole Foods. You can find it at any supermarket, really. I find it at Walmart and Trader Joe's, like I said. And it's hard. It's a big yellow squash. And so this is what it looks like. And so what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you how do you cook this thing, right? It's like, how do you actually make this? And so what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to preheat your oven. Um, and you're gonna preheat your oven to about 400 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and preheat up, preheat my oven. And guys, this is something that you can eat with just about anything. You can eat it with shrimp, chicken, beef. You really use it as a substitute for spaghetti. Um, and you're probably like, but why spaghetti? Um, and it's because when it's cooked and you actually fork it out, you're going to see that it looks like little skinny mini spaghetti strands. Okay. So what you're gonna wanna do is you are going to need a knife, a really big knife, and you're going to take your squash. Um, and again, you can buy this anywhere, and if you guys have any questions specifically, please ask them in, the, in here and I'll go ahead and answer them. And you gotta be careful because it really is really hard to, to open this up. And so what I typically will do is I will very, Safely because remember I don't want you guys chopping your chopping your fingers off but I will Safely go ahead and try to cut this in half and Again, it's hard and so if you guys I typically will have Luke do this for me just because it is a heart it's hard to open but as I'm opening this and the idea, see it gets stuck, so you gotta be very careful. Um, this is literally the problem that I have with doing this and why I always have Luke go ahead and make this for me. You gotta be very careful. And so what I'll usually do is take it out, flip it back over, try to find it in the middle again here, and keep really just trying to be as safe as you can opening this. And I'm almost there. <laughs> this is literally what I go through every single time. I promise sometimes it's not that difficult. And so what you'll do is you'll open it and this is what it looks like on the inside, okay? And so what you'll do is you will grab a bag, um, a grocery bag or something to kind of toss out the seeds and the pits and that's what you want. Let me grab a bag. So I will just quickly grab like a quick um, kind of just a little grocery bag and what you want to do is you want to scoop out the seeds and so you'll see right here all this gunk you want to take out all these seeds okay and you literally just will scoop it out and so what you'll see me do here is I'm gonna go ahead and take the seeds out of this and again like I said you saw how hard it was for me to put my knife through this yellow squash, through the spaghetti squash. The idea is that once I, I um, scoop out all the seeds out of this, I'm gonna bake it for almost an hour. And what you're looking for is you're looking to be able to pierce the skin and go through the squash very easily. It'll be soft. And so you just kind of scoop out the seeds, you take the other one, scoop out the seeds, and I'm making a mess, it can make a little bit of a mess. But you just scoop it out just like this. As you can see, I'm just taking out the seeds from the spaghetti squash. And you guys gotta be very careful when you're cutting it, like you saw me. <laughs> so then, and then it looks like that. So now I took the seeds out. And what you wanna do is take your pan and you want to take some aluminum foil and you're gonna go ahead, cut your aluminum foil 
You're gonna put this down just like this. And what you're gonna do is you are going to sprinkle a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper on it. And so what I usually like to do is just drizzle some olive oil on top. And I'll go ahead and drizzle the olive oil and take a little bit of my Himalayan salt, a little bit of my Himalayan salt, take some, put it on there, just a little bit of a, of a sprig. And then what you want to do is you want to flip them so that they're upside down. So you're going to go ahead and flip them so that they're both upside down and that's your squash. And so then see simple, right? This is simple. And then what you do is you just put it in the oven for at 400 degrees and you're going to put it in the oven for almost an hour. And really what you're looking for guys, like I said, is you'll know it's done when you're able to pierce the skin very easily with a knife. And so you'll go and you'll go through it and you'll and the and the skin will be really soft and you'll be able to pierce the skin very easily. Once it's done, literally the same way that I was scooping the seeds out, once it's done, you let it cool down and then you'll go ahead and you'll scoop out the spaghetti squash. And so I will eat it with shrimp and chicken and I'll go ahead and eat it with Parmesan cheese. It's super, super simple. Um, so definitely something to consider. I hope you guys found that really helpful. I'm over here just about to drink my detox tea. It's actually so yummy. I have this tea that I drink that I actually got it from my mom and it's basically green tea with lemon with some cinnamon sticks and I'm going to go ahead and put the cinnamon sticks in there, some ginger, the green tea and I pretty much, I literally, I put about three to four cups of water and I go ahead and I chop up some ginger, fresh ginger and then I will boil it for a little bit and then I drink this all day. I've been drinking this all day. It's absolutely fantastic. It's so good. You don't need any sugar. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to it um, just because I don't like it too concentrated. And what I do is pretty much the entire day, I'll just be drinking from this. I'll just keep adding more water to it, let it sit for a little bit, let it kind of go through. And this, because of the green tea, green tea is so amazing for you. It helps to flush out a lot of the toxins. It also helps, it's a, it's a fat metabolizer. And so I've just been kind of just drinking this and chugging this all day. It also has some natural caffeine. And so this is what I've been doing. But anyway guys, I hope you found this helpful. Um, please share this, like this, let me know if you wanna see more recipes. Let me know if there's anything you'd like me to talk about. I'd love to do more videos for you guys, all right? I hope you guys will try some spaghetti squash. I'll post a picture later of what it looks like when it's done and I'll post a picture of me scooping it out um, in the comments okay all right guys have an amazing amazing Thursday bye